and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about painting with bright colors and painting with muddy colors, or some of us call it dull colors. So how do we paint with bright colors? Short, choppy strokes, you hear this from me all the time. Bright, strong colors, you know, right out of the tube. Hardly touched, hardly mixed at all. And then if you really want to dull them down, some of us call it getting muddy, you over mix it, you over touch it, which a lot of us do, don't we, right? As why is it getting so muddy as we keep turning it around and around? It's because you touch it all the time. So it's your choice. <laughs> bright colors, get in, get out, or dull colors. More about muted colors. Pretty nice also. I don't call it mud, I call it muted. Hey, let me show you how I do it in the studio. So first I wanna demonstrate how to make more of a dull color, more of a muted color, more of a mud color, which I see a lot of us doing. So I have my blue, my red, and my yellow, a little bit of black and some white all set up. We're gonna do a simple circle. And this is what I see so many of us doing. We take a oh, color here and we just start doing this. And then we take another color and then we start doing this. And we take another color and we start, we start, geez, geez, oh, I wonder why it's not looking so bright and happy. And I wonder why it's, because this is exactly why I would do. It gets duller and duller and duller. Well, maybe if I add some purple in here, it's got to be better. Now it's getting muddy. <laughs> and we keep doing it. One of the reasons we keep doing that is, is it because we don't know where to go next. So we stay in one place, we just keep churning it up until it gets good and muddy. Okay, well, that's one way of making the mud. Well, I call it making mud. I also call it, maybe it's an opportunity to make a cool color too. Don't give up. Maybe the other color was pretty cool too, but don't give up, just add lots of white to it. Now it's more of a neutral color. Well, that's one thing to do. Now, let me show you how to get the bright color or keep the bright color. That's because we kept touching it, right? Good way of doing this is get in, get out. Short, choppy strokes, just like this. I'm over-exaggerating it, but you're getting the point. Now we add some yellow in here. Short, choppy strokes, get in, get out. Let's add a little bit of magenta in here. This is the dark side, it looks, looks like we're painting a ball. Of course we are. <laughs> Let's get some dark blue in here. Short, choppy strokes, get in, get out. Just a little bit of wet into wet, just a little bit. If I get it to be too much wet into wet, it's really gonna get muddy. Let's go back. These are really good Holbein paints. Holbein are the acrylics that I'm using because uh, they're full bodied. That means there's a lot of pigment. <laughs> and that's what we're going for here. There's a lot of pigment. See? In, out, have fun. Coming in with some black even. Whoa. Just like that, look at that. Look how exciting that can be compared to the one we did initially. Lots of churning it around, making mud, toning it way down, but we try to save it by adding some white to it. This one is in, out, in, out. Think of the French Impressionists. Short, choppy strokes. Here's some blue. One more shot. Blue. And add some white to it. Here we go. 
Wow, look at this. Whoa. Clean. See, up close, it might look, it might look kind of messy, right? <laughs> but boy, two feet away, it's starting to look fantastic because you didn't over mix it. Get in, get out, get in, get out. It sure is a lot, a lot of fun to paint that way. And this is the way I like to paint. At least that's the way I was trained to paint. Well, I hope the, this worked out okay for everybody and explains how to make mud, how not to make mud, or if you do, don't give up. Make it into a cool color. Hey, invite your friends to watch the next one. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'll see you on the next Bob Blast.